So we're going to look at some interesting settings. And this one is the prompt power because it's going to start putting the prompt, the raw prompting ability in front of you, the user, even though this app tries to be as simple as possible. But we're going to see something cool, but also it's going to ask a lot out of you as the user. So in this first example, we're going to take a email box, which is this one here, which won't exist after this video. And we are going to send email to it. Now it could just be your regular email box. I just happen to be using this one. And what we're going to do is say, when I check this box, I want to do something like I want to say, if this email is about work, real estate work, marketing, whatever, in my case, web work, then do something with this. In this case, I wanted to bring it into the system. I wanted to summarize the email, but even better, I wanted to ignore emails that it, it can't deal with. So in this prompt, there'll be plenty of examples and there's going to be a helper prompt feature soon. But the point is this gives you the power to make these prompts to then do these things. So when emails come into our system, like this one here, which is, uh, I would like to hire you to build an amazing application. It will look through that, find it. Yeah, I want to, uh, that's a good one. Let's keep it. But when you get something that's more spammy, that's not about it, then it will just ignore it or not even just spam. You could point to one email box, five different sources. And one could be pulling out work emails. One could be pulling out security updates. One could be pulling out news. And so you end up making different collections out of that email box. So now if I was to run this, it's actually already run, but I'm going to delete it for a moment. And we'll just see it uh, run. So if I run this guy, it's going to go check those emails. Nothing exciting. I could show the logs. And it's going to just do what we said. Now, I could play around with the prompt. I have this force feature. Now, force is basically... You're, you don't always want to use force. I'm going to show you in the next video where you just have to use it, like when you're trying to get a feed. In this case, emails you typically don't want to double check because you just get them and you're done. You don't want to keep checking them over and over because you are building up a little bit of an expense here. But in this case, we are doing it just because we're doing testing stuff. And I want to hit this email box over and over. If we reload this page, we see that it found one of those two. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that, and let's look at it really quick. So I said, okay, I found this email, I ignored the other one and grabbed this one. So one thing to keep in mind is that this prompting requires skill and understanding, and we're going to surface more of that to make it easier for you. But one thing to keep in mind is that I can do things like say, hey, if it's not a good topic, if it's not something we care about, just return false. So the system ignores it and moves on. I'm going to show you how to make uh, a more complex response after with the next video. So again, bringing the power of prompting to the UI, to your checking emails, to checking websites, to all of these things. Google Spreadsheet doesn't have this because it's a different thing, but we might move it in there. I just got to think about it. But yeah, so this is basically it gets you going on how to use the power of prompting to do these things with the data that you're trying to get into the system.